again with another episode of Roofer Reflections, and I'm very, very excited to have Andy here today. Looking at your background, you've been part of the roofing industry a long time. Got started very early. I was still in high school when I started kind of dabbling into it a little bit. From running crews to uh, um, you eventually started to run companies. You know, I spent probably around 15 years or so running crews. Um, at different levels, mostly all commercial, really not much any residential. Did quite a big, you know, big projects, lots of different um, scopes, you know, anywhere from single ply to coatings to um, torch on roofs, did a lot of hot asphalt roofs. Had an unfortunate incident um, in 94 where I actually took a fall off of a roof. Just made a dumb mistake, you know, and climbing up a ladder with something that I shouldn't have had. But in a lot of ways, that opportunity changed my path in roofing because I was off, wasn't able to roof for quite a while, obviously. So at that point, I took the opportunity to take a few college classes, did some technical writing classes, computer class, whatnot. And then I got into consulting with a friend of mine who had worked as a consultant and worked as a uh, manufacturer rep at one point. I became a registered roof observer with the RCI and did that for a couple of years, maybe about a year and a half or so. Back to contracting and shortly after that I found myself working in the office and then started just working myself up, you know, from being a project estimator, project manager, working production. What were the other lessons you learned as you were sort of moving through uh, the different roles? You know, I think one of the biggest keys for people to learn and to think about and what I've learned is just, you know, um, accountability. Basically, you know, accept what you have, accept the responsibilities. If you really want to move somewhere, you know, you have to be willing to make decisions. A lot of people don't want to make a decision. You know, so one of the things I learned was, you know, make your decision, stick with your decision, and then own your decision. You're going into a new role, so you're constantly learning new things. I mean, do you have a method of doing that? Do you work with someone? Do you do it yourself? How does that process work for you? To take your time, not to rush into things. You know, really sit down and evaluate and sit down and talk to people. Every position I've taken, every change I've made, you know, I make a point of going in and speaking to the people that are, you know, I'm directly affected. What's good? What's bad? You know, what can we improve? If you bring up the bottom faster and you look at the things that you can impact right away, even though they may not be the biggest goals, um, it makes the change, you know, pretty recognizable for everybody around you and it impacts everybody around you quicker, which yeah. makes you more successful. I mean, you, being part of the roofing industry a lot, you know, people must come to you for advice or people that haven't, you know, experienced the industry have, have sort of come up to you. What do you tell those people, people that are considering coming into the roofing industry? You know, the roofing industry, there's so many variables to it. And that's the thing is it can fit any personality. So if you're a goal oriented, worker, want to be outside, don't want to be behind a desk, you just want to go out there and, and and get things done, then, you know, that part's there for you. And then you can excel into being a foreman and into being a, you know, superintendent if you want to. Some people's personality, they don't want to do that. We have several college graduates that come into roofing. You know, I have actually players that have played for me in high school that went on to college take business degrees or marketing degrees and then have come into the roofing industry you know obviously i prompted them to do that and so it's not about you know per se just roofing you don't have to be you know breaking a sweat to be in the roofing industry there's so many different facets of the roofing industry that it can fit any personality whatever you want to be